Hello and welcome to Walk on the Wild Side with Kat. Thank you for being in the studio audience here today. Yeah! Today we have a really great show for you. I'm really excited. We are here today with Rhonda Moretti from Belaza Models, a local company here in town. Uh, we have a summer fashion show. So this today is Building Beautiful Confidence with Belaza models. So I'm so excited. We also have some uh, a, a designer and a photographer here with us today. Uh, some other folks, Brad Phipps from a personal reality video. I also want to thank our crew here at Access Tucson before we get started because once we get rolling, this is going to be a packed show. We have some really great things to show you today about the fashion world uh, in Tucson and about modeling. I'm really looking forward to finding out more about Belaza Models and all the great work that you do, Rhonda. Really looking forward to that today. So I, I definitely want to thank our crew today in the control room. We have Kevin, who is uh, pinch hitting for us as a director, and Duke Stanberry, our executive producer, filling in there on audio as well. And here in the studio with us on camera, we have Joe. Brad is pitching in, and also Patrick. So thanks a lot, you guys. We couldn't do it without you. Um, before we find out more about Belaza Models and all the great fashion that we have in store for ourselves today, I also want to give a very special thank you to our show sponsor today, and that is the New Looks Wellness and Wellness Spa and you can find them at newlookslaser.com. They have some really great special summer deals going on, so you can uh, uh, get all of your aesthetic needs taken care of there. They do laser hair reduction. They have some specials going on for photo facials, uh, chemical peels, microdermabrasion, and they have the only Zerona body contouring system in Tucson. So for all your beauty needs, please check out uh, New Looks Wellness Spa, and you can find them at newlookslaser.com. So, Rhonda. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Finally, finally, it's been uh, quite a week pulling this show together. Yes, it has. Yes. But thank you very much for having me. I very much appreciate it. Well, I'm, re I'm really happy that you're here, and uh, I, I first of all, of all would like you to go ahead and just introduce your company to us, Belaza Models. Tell us when you got started with Belaza Models. I started Belaza Models approximately two years ago, and my background is real estate. I was in real estate management for eight years here in Tucson, and I was also a cheer coach, and I really enjoyed working with teens and young adults. So I started Belaza Models to kind of get 
um, you know, back in with the teens and young adults and, mm -hmm. and give them some confidence building. So I started workshops that um, have classes where we teach them about themselves through makeup and hair and beauty techniques and they also learn about how to do a photo shoot, how to walk the runway and we do fashion shows for local charities so it's a really great experience for them whether they want to be a model or not. And how long does uh, that program take like uh, describe the program to us that you actually our classes are on Sundays they're approximately six weeks long um, with the fashion show it's about seven weeks mm -hmm. and we start out with before pictures we um, do a health fitness and diet class it gets the class um, well acquainted we do Zumba it's really fun with Gigi Burton and then we go into makeup 101 so they get to learn you know great techniques for photo shoots and everyday makeup um, with a great makeup artist Ashley Verhalen who is also my daughter teaches the class and then we go into photo shoot 101 which our top model Val Romero she teaches and you know it teaches them about posing and facial expressions and again a lot of these kids don't necessarily want to be models but they do want to do something fun and with Facebook and everybody taking pictures on Facebook mm -hmm. it's really cool to have professional pictures and then we have a class where we teach them about runway and it allows people that wouldn't normally be in a fashion show to really experience and get on stage and that whole process creates this beautiful confidence within them that is just amazing to see the process a lot of the kids that come in are really shy they're scared um, you know they don't think that they can do anything like this especially in Tucson they think it is just for LA Chicago New York and you know my whole motto with my company is you really don't have to be a model to feel like one and that's at any age mm -hmm. so well that that's really uh, I think that's a, a really great thing because you know we know that women of all ages right really like to feel confident and beautiful uh, putting their best foot forward and I think it's really great what you're doing with young adults uh, that that can really help them get started in their professional life whatever it, it right. might be right learning how to put on that that good presentation that polished look and my hope is that you know they gain enough self-confidence through my program where when they do go to a job interview they are going to nail it they're gonna walk in knowing that they're going to get the position because they can feel it they feel confident they feel beautiful and you know I think it's great for their future so and and you do have a program starting up soon is, is that correct yes July 15th is our okay. next session our mm -hmm. sessions again run about six to seven weeks our next fashion show is gonna be August 26th it's going to be a no bullying rally to start the school year off right in Tucson mm -hmm. and it's also going to be to benefit the Corey Lau Spike Park Foundation which is very close to my heart I've been working with that foundation for about five years yes and, and that that's a, a well-known yes uh, charity here they they do great work and so that that's wonderful well we have that to look forward to yes we're so excited as well well, I do know that uh, I believe we do have a little video that we can yes. can show that gives us some more background uh, about Balaza Models Inc. And so, if we can have the control room roll the promo video, that would be great. And while they're getting Thanks that video, <laughs> I'm Shay Wilson. I did my uh, first real shoot at age 35. I couldn't believe the feeling that I had when I saw the pictures. It was truly amazing. After doing a few photo shoots, uh, I, know you have other programs magazines, on this, so this I saw is, myself this is in a totally different program. light for the first time in my life. I was a more confident woman, and it was very clear that I wanted to share this experience and give others the opportunity to feel the same way. Being a former cheerleading coach, an avid volunteer, and a mother of two beautiful girls, I have always had a passion for helping people. Oh my God. At Palaza Models, Inc., our goal is to build confidence in Tucson's youth and young adults by offering classes to build self-esteem, self-awareness, confidence in themselves, and to create a sense of natural beauty through modeling. Each session includes classes that dig deep into the industries of health, fitness, diet, makeup application, and skincare. We teach the students how to do a photo shoot through learning about posing, facial expressions, and how to really connect with the camera, which then leads to their very own photo shoot with our featured photographer, Shay Wilson. 
Everyone learns to walk the runway at our classes in preparation for our fashion show that always benefits a local Tucson charity. At Balaza Models Inc., we consider ourselves a family. It is truly an investment to your inner and outer beauty, and keep in mind our classes are for everyone. You don't have to be a model to look and feel like one, and remember, confidence is the key. I want to give a special thanks to Blaza's top model 2011, Chanel Stansberry, for being such an inspiration and positive role model for all of us. I am so proud of you, Chanel. Your beautiful confidence truly shows that you are the leader of our modeling family. Please enjoy these before and after pics, and thank you again for coming. Electronic disco flow, hip hop, non-stop, this mix is dope. Electronic disco flow, hip hop, non-stop, this mix is dope. DJ, please set up a chemical reaction. You've got the detonator, I need the satisfaction. Drop that record, scratch it up, bring the bass, bass, bass. Wow, Rhonda, some of those before and after shots, it's amazing really the transformation that, that people go through. Yeah, a lot of the kids that come in are shy, reserved. Like I said, they're scared and this is a great place for them to come and become a part of something, a family, mm -hmm. like we call it, and um, you know, have a lot in common with other kids. So. Well, that's great. Well, I know we have um, some of your models here um, with us today. Yes, I'm very excited. And um, we are ready for our, our first one. They're actually going to give us a little bit of their own personal experiences that they have had uh, with the program. And we have our, our first model coming up, uh, who is Brittany Rhonda? Meza. Brittany Meza. And Brittany, you could just grab that mic and then uh, you can come on down. And um, this is Brittany, everyone. Let's give her a big hand. So Brittany, thanks a lot for being here today. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your experience with Balaza? And if you could look at Brad, look, just look at the camera. My experience with Balaza has been really amazing. Um, Balaza's really changed my life a lot. And I couldn't thank Rhonda more for like letting me be in the modeling company. It's it's really life changing. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. My first fashion show, I was really nervous. I, I thought I was gonna fall when I was doing my runway. I was like asking Rhonda a bunch of questions. I was like, what do I do? But after I got done, I just felt like amazing. When I was on the runway, I felt like I was a superstar. And Blaza well, changed my life so much. My confidence is up so much more. Like people come up to me and give me compliments on my pictures to say you look beautiful and stuff and I just feel like crying and couldn't thank Rhonda like more and then Ashley for doing the makeup and everyone helping. So yeah. You're amazing, Brittany. Thank, thank you, Brittany. <laughs> and and our next model is is Angel Carrillo. Angel Carrillo. Hi Angel. Let's give her a big hand everybody. And what a great outfit, Angel. 
So please tell us about, you, uh, about your experience and, and what, what's your favorite thing about working with Balaza Models? Um, my experience with Balaza Models has been the greatest experience of my life. I started modeling about a year ago with Rhonda and I started Balaza Models about two years ago, I believe. And it's just been such a great experience to me and Rhonda has done everything in the world to get me to be confident and so now that I'm confident I'm happy with it because now when someone asks me a question I will ask answer the question and what was the other question did you ask? Your, uh, what is, what's your favorite thing about modeling? What is it that you love the most about that? My favorite thing about modeling is that you could always have fun and you play different characters in modeling like if you're someone like a preppy girl you could change your style into something else and you could do your um, photo shoot in different ways, and you do the runways in different, however you want to do it. No, that's it. That's it. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks thank for coming. You, and next up we have? We have Liana. Liana. Give her a big hand, everybody. Hi, Hi, Liana. Liana. Tell us about your experience with, uh, mm -hmm. with Balaza. Well, my experience has been amazing. I started this session in, when did I start? It was May. I started in May. And I really didn't have a lot of confidence. And when I went to go speak in s school, like programs and stuff, I didn't have the confidence. And now I do. And Rhonda has been very generous and helped me change me. And I think my favorite thing with Balaza is the photo shoots because they just make you feel amazing and like a superstar. And I love it. I just want to thank you, Rhonda, so much. You're so welcome. <laughs> thank you, Liana. <clears throat> thank you, Sadie. And just in case someone might think that modeling is only for girls. We have a Rudy. That will change your mind. Rudy, thank you. So Balazs Models has been, it's been a life changer. Um, Rhonda and the company have done more for me than I can ever do for myself. She not only takes you in and teaches you the class, she treats you as a family member. And she picks on me all the time, as usual. But, you know, <laughs> you feel the love when you're in this company, more than anything. And um, the people you meet here, it's just... It's amazing, actually. You develop a friendship. We have our things where we're fighting. We'll be happy together, but in all together, we still come out as a big family. And um, companies like this, you really don't see around because a lot of people just want to do it, and they don't give others who people who don't consider models a chance. Rhonda does. She gives any and everybody a chance. So basically, if you want to be a model, take it. And it was kind of funny because I faced a stereotype being a guy coming in here. Um, question a lot about things but it didn't phase me not one bit because Rhonda has helped elevated my well just everything my confidence and now f my future career to a level that's gonna get me pretty far hopefully and I thank her this company and everybody who's been involved with it the fashion shows everything thank you Rudy Rudy real quick um, I just want to ask you a few questions so First of all, Rudy changed the whole genre of my company because he was our first male. And he also is going on to a huge opportunity, so you need to tell everybody about it. Okay. Yes, let us know about that. And Rudy, to, uh, back, to the camera. back to the camera, yes. <laughs> well, uh, as far as I meant by Rhonda helping me, um, my confidence went up. And now I pretty much aced an uh, interview, as you could say, for an audition for a new movie and a new TV show. So I will be leaving town pretty soon to start filming those. And it's just basically telling you, you know, if you have your mindset and your dream, go for it. Don't let anybody or anything tell you otherwise because this is a job once you get into, you cannot turn away from. And it's just amazing. And um, without Rhonda, I don't know if I would have been here. I don't know if I would even got an opportunity of the sort. So like I said, I thank Rhonda and this company for everything. You're very welcome. No Thank you, Rudy, and congratulations to you.
Uh, well, Rhonda, that's that's amazing. <laughs> so now, um, it, just in terms of uh, young, you know, young men as models. Uh, it, besides Rudy, do you have others, or yeah. how how is that going? Yeah, Rudy joined us about a year ago, and since we've had about thirteen, mm -hmm. um, which is great. You know, because there is a big stigma against male models, and I can proudly say. Well, I mean, I have, I, I just, I have a lot of guys, and they're all different, and I love all of them. Um, we even have a six-year-old. His name's Corbin. He's amazing. Um, so yeah, it's been great. I mean, and he, like I said, he changed that path for us. So it was very special. Well, that's that's wonderful. <laughs> I, I know for our next segment, uh, we now are going to uh, move into seeing as some actual uh, summer fashions. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice to bring designer Brooke Alicia in. Um, she is with So Twisted Designs, and when she comes out, she'll tell you a little bit about herself. But, okay. Um, but. Um, so, uh, what, uh, what just as because uh, now we're we're waiting for actually Brooke Alicia right. and the models. So hopefully they'll be ready soon. Yeah. Uh, what are we going to be seeing? Can you give us a, a little? Flavor she of that? has a great summer line. Brooke is a local designer. Uh, I met her a few weeks ago, and she is just, uh, when you see her on camera, you'll understand, but I just have this passion for her now. And, um, and her designs are amazing, you mm -hmm. know? So it'll be great. Okay. Uh, well, it will be great as soon as they're here. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I did talk to Brooke in the, in the green room earlier and uh, I talked to her about how she got started in design. Uh, great, looks like, looks like they're here. Uh, Brooke, if we could have you uh, go ahead and join us on the set, you can just walk around behind the camera and come on up, that'd be great. And uh, now I can uh, have you tell us a little bit about you once, you once you're able to get your mic on there. So I was just uh, mentioning to Rhonda that I was speaking to you in the in the green room earlier and uh, talking to you about how you got started in design and and um, so go ahead and, and tell us about how that went for you because I expected to hear that you've been involved in this for a long time and you're you're really just getting started so that's amazing. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I started. I learned how to sew last July. I made my first collection last October, and since then I've done uh, four collections. And um, I'm just working nonstop. I'm trying to play catch up to where everybody else is at. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to get myself up to where I want to be, to where I'm like competitive with everybody else because Tucson's fashion scene has been going. Maybe it's not as boisterous or as loud as New York or, you know, LA, but it's mm -hmm. there. So I'm just trying to make myself, you know, up to par with the other designers that already, you know, that have been doing this for a long time. And there are a lot of other great great designers out there. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to play catch up. That's all. Well, I, I think it's amazing that you only learned how to sew just a year ago and you've already put together collections. How long does it normally take to put together a collection? Um, most people do it in about six months. They do it per season. It's by season. It's mm -hmm. spring, summer, and then it's fall, winter. So, you know, during the summer months, people are working on their fall, winter collections and during the, you know, and it's vice versa. So usually, you know, depends on who you're talking about and how many resources they have. But mm -hmm. for me, I usually get it done in about two to three months. But I've always been a creative kid. I've always liked doing stuff like that. And I'm a theater kid, and I made my own costumes when I was in theater. So it wasn't that far of a stretch, mm -hmm. you know. It was just a matter of actually sitting down and, you know, working. That's all. Well, Congratulations to you that Thank you, you. you know, that you've come this far. So, um, what is it that that we're going to see today? Is this a, this is a summer collection? I'm assuming. Well, actually, it's a little mix of um, my spring summer collection, mm -hmm. and then I did a collection for a show at the Fox Theater based on Salvador Dali. Mm -hmm. He's a famous um, painter. <laughs> One You're of my favorite shaking. artists. I You're love Salvador like you know. Dali. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's just a mix of both of those because I have evening wear and I also have, you know, a mix of my regular, you know, ready to wear for my spring summer selection. So I just, I brought a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. but right now it's just, um, we're looking at daytime. Right okay, now, so. great. Yeah. All right, well, we're ready for our first model and I do want to say that um, we need to move that mic. <laughs> so, 
Uh, so, yeah, if you can, just go ahead and take the, can just leave it on the, down there. That'll be great. Okay, Hi. and this is uh, Brittany, correct? Yes. Brittany wearing? Brittany's wearing a piece from the Salvador Dali collection, and it's based on the spheres of Gattaca. It's in a hand-painted dress on canvas fabric. Um, it's all hand-painted, and it's meant to be more of a, you know, daytime business, lunch and wear type thing. It's, it was really, really fun to paint on my fabric, and I'm just, I get people who ask about it all the time, and it's, it's, it's fun, I think. One it's one of my favorite pieces. It's, it's very beautiful. Oh, and thank you. so you hand painted that design mm -hmm. onto the fabric? Mm -hmm. Well, and it, it's washable. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. It's washable. So now, if it's someone fireable. wanted to, to buy one of your designs, let's say that they see this on, on Brittany, it looks beautiful, and they say, I just have to have that. How can they, how can they find that? They can find it on Etsy.com, shop name So Twisted, or they can um, find us on SoTwistedDesigns.com. Mm -hmm. They can email. Um, call pretty much every medium there is snail mail <laughs> every medium there is to contact me you can contact me and um, custom order anything okay. and then on Etsy we have pre-made orders ready to ship so mm -hmm. yeah great thank you thank you Brittany, thank you, Brittany. beautiful This is from my springtime collection 2012. This is an asymmetrical summer dress. It's dip dyed and sponge dyed, which means I took a sponge with my dye and I like made a nice little pattern. So it's kind of iridescent, not a flat color. Um, and it's, it's also on Etsy.com. What I love about this is that the fabric is very, very soft and flowy and it's very comfortable it's not too heavy and it's like one of you know it's one of those springtime summertime dresses i i love the color and it does look like it would be really not comfortable to wear it is yeah it I'll looks be. great on you saley <laughs> thank you <It's> beautiful <laughs> And um, the last daytime look we have, um, caftans are really in right now. So I did a modified version of a caftan and it's uh, made out of cotton gauze. Now gauze is usually what you see when you're bleeding in the, somewhere and they take you and they wrap you in cotton gauze, but they also sell it large, um, large scale for designers. And it's just double layered and it's great to go over your bathing suit or just put it on to go walking in. It's very boho, very, you know, very trendy, mm -hmm. you know, very easy to make, easy to wear. And um, yeah, it's also part of the spring summer collection awesome. 2012. I love it. I love it too. Thank you, Le Thank you. Liana. Thank you, Liana. Thank you so much. It looks great. Great. Well, thank you for uh, showing those, and we know you're coming back again with uh, a few more. So we'll we'll let you get off to get those <laughs> models dressed. Well, thank you. Yeah, and I thank appreciate you. it. And don't forget to take your mic yeah, off. I was about to walk around. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So Twisted Design, everyone. So Twisted.com. Well, um, Ron, <laughs> Rhonda, for our, our next part, I, I want to hear about one of your other programs. It's called Balaza Effect. Yes. And you've told me a little bit about, about this. I'm fascinated with it because mm -hmm. I can tell you why. I would love to have a makeover. So I'm really looking forward to hearing about Balaza Effect. Um, tell us about a little bit about that and, and what inspired you to start that program. Well, what inspired me to start this program, actually when I started Blaza Models, I had gotten a divorce after being married for 20 years and I realized that I lost myself. And, you know, I started by doing a photo shoot with Shay Wilson and it changed my life. And when I originally started Blaza Models, I really thought it would attract, you know, women in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and I ended up working with all these teens, which is great. Um, but again, I really would like to, you know, change adults' lives too um, by giving them more self-confidence. And so I got with a very amazing photographer, and Allie Megan, who you're going to meet in a second, and talk to her about, you know getting these women in and talking to them about their self-confidence levels and teaching them about new makeup techniques, about skin care, about hair care. You know, a lot of things that we think we know, but it's always good to know more. 
and they come in and we have fun and we do champagne and hors d'oeuvres and then we you know talk to them about how to do a photo shoot and they come in with whatever they want and we create their own photo shoot for them and you know throughout the process it changes them also and we actually have one of our mothers here of our models that has gone through the Blaza effect and she will be talking to you guys too right now. Yeah. Great. Well, why don't why don't we go ahead and have um, Ollie Megan and Megan, yeah. uh, and uh, Janet Jeanette, yeah, or Jeanette. I'm sorry. If you could come, go ahead and, and come on and and join us. Now, I just want to add that Allie also did my top model competition. She mm -hmm. did the makeup and photography for one of them last year, and it was just incredible. And this is why I wanted her for the Blaza effect. I know that she's very good with working with models, and I also know that her photography is just ridiculous. So thank you, Allie and Jeanette, for being here. Thank, thank you, you, Allie and, and, and Jeanette. So first of all, I just, I just have to say that um, I thought Jeanette was one of the models. Right? I, I, I mean, I thought she was one of the models. It was, I didn't realize that well, she... Well, she is now. She, she is now Velaza because effect, you... Okay? <laughs> she did Velaza Thank effect. you. <laughs> well... Making me blush. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, both of you. And... Uh, I'd love to start with you, Allie, and let us know about your uh, photography work. And uh, we were talking about fashion in the Tucson fashion scene kind of before we got started here. So uh, I, I think we are really not aware in Tucson that there actually is fashion work right. and uh, fashion things happening here. It's not necessarily that apparent. No, it is not. <laughs> Yeah. And Allie, when did you get started uh, in photography? Um, well, I've been in this industry for a very long time. Uh, for me, 15 years, quite a long time. Uh, I started off uh, just in very similar ways of um, Rhonda's Balaza Model Girls who uh, attend uh, different modeling schools and learn self-confidence. I My mom had me in... Um, a modeling school at a very young age, so I, I kind of I grew up around it, and um, I was very involved in our theater at high school. And um, so after high school, I, I continue modeling, and uh, working with photographers, they would compliment me on my makeup and my hair and the way that I came and and presented myself. And so they had asked me if I would be willing to work for them and doing makeup and um, hair for their models. And I thought that was just the greatest thing because I had no idea all the new avenues that were um, you know, expressed to me in this industry of, of being able to be a makeup artist, a hairstylist, a wardrobe stylist, a fashion designer, um, art directors, owning a modeling agent um, school, and just there's just so many different avenues that, that one can take. And I think that's what is really cool about this industry is that in the beginning you start as a model but as you grow in the industry you kind of find where where it takes you mm -hmm. and um, so it took me to New York when I was 20 and um, I just as far as confidence building I thought you know what do I have to lose so I just built my portfolio and I went to New York and I walked into the biggest agencies I could think of which was Ford, Wilhelmina, mm -hmm. Elite and I just walked in there and and asked for an appointment and sat down and showed them my work and they said well this is you know are you wanting a model are you wanting to work with our photographers and I said no I want to work with your photographers that's what I want to do I want to work with your new faces I want to work with girls and so um, so it was great because two weeks later I just started getting phone calls. And at a, such a young age and being in New York City and me being from Nogales, Arizona, I was <laughs> very thrilled. So that, That's an amazing story because right? really yeah. how often does that kind of thing really happen? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. so and being there, um, that tells me that, you, that you're a very talented photographer. Yeah. She is. And working, working to the photography, it's, it's, um, that's where my start was. And so being able to work with all these professional photographers, working with fashion houses and all these really big high-end clients like Tommy Hilfiger, Reebok, all these people, I had a tremendous experience of working on set, learning from these amazing photographers and the way they light and the way they direct and, and um, the art directors and their concepts and how to like, you know, take an idea and have it a common thread throughout the editorial is what, like what you see in the fashion magazines. So then I moved to Seattle and did it all over again and worked for another amazing uh, commercial 
photography studio there and then um, I got married and had a baby and decided that my family life was the most important to me. Mm -hmm. So we moved back, um, we're from Nogales, but we moved here to Tucson and when I moved to Tucson I decided, you know, the fashion industry here in Tucson is very limited, it's very small, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of very talented people coming up here and I feel like Tucson's kind of on this this like cusp of, of transforming into building a fashion industry here because there's so many people who are a part of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's, I started shooting and, and I do, and I love shooting because I've worked with models, I've directed and I know my lighting and I, it's just, a, I, I'm all self-taught. So I'm all about um, my instinct and what I'm feeling at the moment and mm -hmm. um, being able to communicate that with the people that I shoot and, um, work with. So when I met Rhonda, um, I was thrilled and I met her last year in September, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, we just started working together and we just got along so great because I love what she does, like what she represents and what she does to these beautiful young models, these handsome young models. You know, it's, <laughs> it's great because it's giving them an opportunity to learn about beauty, makeup, about walking. And like, how do you come in and even on simple interviews, you mm -hmm. know, it's how do you present yourself and your posture and looking at people and shaking their hands and all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited and um, real quick, I just wanted to add, um, so I, I opened up a studio. I have a studio partner who I work with is Alan Sturm and our studio is called Love Smack Studios. And the whole point about our studio is to be able to give this fashion industry here in Tucson a hot spot for all of us to be able to work together, fashion photographers, modeling designers, fashion shows, mm -hmm. Rhonda, Blaza models, everybody is a part of this space. And mm -hmm. it's to help promote and build and expose all of us great talent that haven't yet been able to really shine. Mm -hmm. So, and, and specifically fashion in Tucson. Yes. Okay, and could you say the name of the studio again? Um, uh, so that people can find you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can, um, my name is Allie Megan. You can find me at um, alliemegan.com. And my studio name is Love Smack Studios, uh, lovesmackstudios.com. You can also find us on Facebook. Uh, feel free to contact us through email. Uh, my phone number's on there. Um, mm -hmm. Anyhow, any way you would like to be able to come over and set a time to come and see our space and talk to us more about what we do, I would um, love to um, talk with you. <laughs> and also, mm -hmm. our, the Blaza fact photo shoots we right. do at Love Smack. Yeah. So okay. the photo so shoot we do with Jeanette mm -hmm. was at Love Smack Studio. So we were really happy to be there. Very, very, Great. very happy. So, so you've been working with Rhonda on the, on the Blaza fact right. uh, program. Great. Well, I, let's hear from you, Jeanette, and uh, okay. tell us about that. I, I really am excited to hear about that. It's very exciting. So um, I had the pleasure of meeting Rhonda. Um, my daughter was very interested in, you know, joining Belaza. Mm -hmm. So I met with Rhonda, and I just kind of had a little chat with her about. I wanted to know about her program and what it was about, and just. You know, the first words that came out of her mouth were like, you know, this is a business where we we help young girls with build their confidence, you mm -hmm. know, teenage girls that are having trouble with their confidence, helping them, you know, do their makeup and how to walk around runway, how to take good pictures. And right when she said helping young girls build their confidence, that right there just automatically sold me. I was like, this is a good opportunity for my daughter. Mm -hmm. So we've been with Rhonda for about, with Belaza for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, Rhonda had um, been wanting me to do a photo shoot and I was like, no, you know, this is more for my daughter, you know, this is about her. But she finally got me to do it and I'm really happy that she did. I think she chose the best photographer to do it. Mm -hmm. um, it was an amazing time. Um, I can tell you that when I first viewed the pictures, I was, really surprised, really shocked. I even I even cried a little bit. Um, it, there, it was an amazing experience and I think she could have not have chosen a better photographer than Allie Megan. She did an awesome job. Um, I would definitely do it again. Mm -hmm. First I was persistent about it, but now I would do it again at any time. Mm -hmm. um, 
so she, you know it's 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 like family. This it's Belaza and um, Love Smack and all these different you know programs that get together. It's it's all like family, and it's a really wonderful experience. My daughter and I have um, you know something to bond together mm -hmm. with. Um, we share things. We do fashion shows together. We do charity events, fundraisers, anything that Rhonda has going on. We get to do it together. So it's a wonderful experience for the both of us. But for me myself, it was an amazing experience to have. Um, I can't thank her enough for finally getting me to do it, and I can't thank her enough for choosing Ali to take the pictures. They were very, I, very amazing. Well, it sounds wonderful, and I, and I just have to say, I think Rhonda knows raw talent when she sees it. Yes, I do. <laughs> I, I, I believe Rick, that. Ellie, uh, yes. I, I, I got she's, it. Going on. Yeah, she's great. She, she knows her stuff. Rhonda knows. She's a wonderful person. The other she thing I want to add quick is mm -hmm. Ashley Verhalen, who again is my daughter, she mm -hmm. um, did all the hair and makeup for the Blaza effect, as mm -hmm. she will in the future. Mm -hmm. So when you see yeah. this, yes. this clip and mm -hmm. this video of not only Jeanette, but my friend Jerry Estrella, her daughter also was in Blaza Models, and we decided to pull her in. And she's, you know, late. 30s, 40s, 50s. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but we're not going to name, you know, <laughs> the ages. We don't. But, um, we don't do that, right? But she couldn't make it to be here. But mm -hmm. you'll see her in the clip, mm -hmm. and she's okay. an amazing woman, and uh, it's really been a great thing. Yeah, I just want to add real quick, if, if it's okay. okay um, you know, the the ladies who come in and experience um, our our photo shoots with them. You know, it's they get they're very nervous. They don't know Absolutely. how to pose or. You know they don't know what to do, or you know it's it's completely coming outside of their their comfort zone and, and their box. But I just want you to know that um, we help you every little step, yes. and we hold your hand, Absolutely. and we make it fun, and you feel good about yourself. And when you get in front of my camera, I direct you, I help you. You know I tell you kind of sit and bring your arm out, and you know put your chin out, and just different kind of direction. Fun and with so it. you know you have fun, and that's. That's the biggest thing about it is you, you just feel pretty and you oh, get absolutely something to have beautiful. And it really is for all ages. Yes. Like yeah. now my company is officially for all ages. And yeah. I've had some guys ask if they could come in See? that that's, are in their forties yeah. and you know, do before and afters too. So I look yeah, forward to that. Well that's what we always it's great to have somebody, you know, to get rid of the fear factor. Right. Yeah. Know, right. Walking through the process, hold your hand. Right. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, in the in the control room, uh, we can go ahead and show the Balaza effect video. Yeah, these uh, are just some before and afters. And uh, like some I said, before, before and after shows. We're back with Rhonda Moretti of Belaza Models Inc. Correct, Rhonda? Belaza Models LLC, actually. Uh, Belaza <laughs> Models LLC, okay. And also uh, Brooke Alicia of So Twisted Designs. And mm -hmm. we're now ready for some more of your collection. Oh, I'm glad to be back. So, what we're going to be looking at now is evening wear fun, flirty cocktail dresses and evening wear for, you know, this season, next season. It's We've pulled them from the Salvador Dali collection, so mm -hmm. they're not season specific. They're for all times. Great. So. And our first one is? Liana. Liana. <laughs> Liana's in a beaded jubilee tent dress. It's very flowy, very Grecian inspired, but with a very simple neckline. And it's got a beaded belt, so it's actually 
fully loose once you let the belt go, so it fits many, many different sizes. And then it comes with the belt so you can adjust it, but the entire skirt is very flowy, asymmetrical, as you can see, long in the, long in the back, short in the front, and with a lot of nice frills. And it's very, it's very girly, very feminine. Very beautiful. Can, Liana, could you turn around and, and show the back because the, for the camera because the it, it's really beautiful the Rick, the, way, the way that it flows. This. Thank I you. I love this. I, have I not seen love this, yet this and dress. I love it. I was just about to say, I want this dress. Right? It is great. You can buy it on Etsy.com. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, Liana. Beautiful. Next, we have a fun party cocktail dress. It's very fun, very flashy, very showy. And um, Brittany's going to come out in it right now. It's a. It's a gold, um, gold mesh stretch, and then it's got uh, bolts on the side and be chains in between. So it's kind of rocker, and it's got a gold flash zipper in the back. So it's very, very bold and and very. It's one of my favorites because it's very, very. I like showy. that one a lot I too. Love it too. It's great. Thank you, Brittany. Beautiful. And then lastly, we have a wedding dress. I've been dipping my hand in wedding dresses lately and she's got on a simple, just very simple A-line skirt with a little, little beading detail in between the bust. It's got a long flowy skirt and <laughs> very long flowy skirt mm -hmm. and it's made out of uh, silk satin and chiffon. They're special order only. And um, I've been I've been toying around with wedding dresses this year. I'm kind of trying not to commit to it because I don't want to end up hurting myself um, <laughs> making wedding dresses. Very demanding. Very demanding. Very demanding. I love it though. It's very simple, very elegant. I love Thank it. You. you. Did a great job. Thank really you. Really beautiful. Thank you. Good job, Sammy. Wow, I love the dresses. See, this this part is great. I wish we had more time to. I told you to, she was amazing. Didn't yes, I? you did, thank you. and you were right. I know. <laughs> thank you for having me. Well, thank you again, and uh, again, let people know where they can find you. You can find me on www.sotwisteddesigns.com, or you can find me on Etsy.com, shop name So Twisted. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter. You can snail mail me, email me, Facebook me, whatever kind of medium you need to, <laughs> and we'll custom make any design that you saw here today or any design you see on our website or on our Etsy. And I want to thank the Tucson Young Professionals for having their first Friday fashion show because if it wasn't for them, I would have never met Brooke. I was, so I'm yes. very, very, thank very you. thankful to them. <laughs> thank you, Tucson Young Professionals and Tucson Fashion Group. Yes, absolutely, mm -hmm. Tucson Fashion Group. It was Tucson a great Re show. It was a great show, and they actually came to my last fashion show, and you know, their shows are high fashion. Mm -hmm. So you know, my shows are about bringing confidence out in, in our girls and guys. Mm -hmm. um, so it was it was great to have them at my it, it little sounds, show compared to theirs. You know, sounds like a fun <laughs> a fun collaboration. It was, it was great. Was. Well, I know Tucson Young Professionals uh, is is a great networking group for professionals yes. in Tucson and mm -hmm. they do all kinds of great events. Yes, I can't mm -hmm. wait to so join. So we're happy to definitely give them a plug. Absolutely. I, I know our next segment, we're ready for our next segment which uh, we're, we're going to be able to find out more about your top model. Uh, it's a competition? Yes, it's a competition okay. we have every year. And so I guess we will let uh, Brooke go. Thank, Thank you. you so Reluctantly much. because so we love you. your design. My name is and uh, we're ready. Uh, we're ready for Brad. We yeah. are ready for yes. Brad. Thank you, Brooke. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Those fashions were beautiful. So while we give Brad a chance to come up here, because he's he's doubling, he's helping us out as a cameraman oh, today. Oh, look at this. Okay. Thank you, Brad. Do you, do you need some confidence building, Brad, with those sunglasses on, or what? I just feel like Rudy today. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you hear that, Rudy? Okay. <laughs> So I just, oh, you know, Brad has been with me for so long. When I started doing boxing promotions is when he started doing videography for me. Mm -hmm. And I really don't think that I could do any of this without him. Him, Shay Wilson, I mean, these are huge players in my world because mm -hmm. they help me so much. Um, I came up with the top model 
2011 idea, asked Shay to shoot it and Brad to videotape it, and we did it the first time in 2011. And it turned out great. We had four different girls competing, and that year Chanel Stansberry won, and she did a great job, you know, representing Velaza in 2011. Mm -hmm. Last year, uh, I came to Brad with a bigger idea. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use four different photographers, so we use Neil Peters, Shay Wilson, Allie Megan, and Ricardo Rodriguez, which in my opinion are the four best photographers in Tucson for mm -hmm. this, you know, for fashion. Okay. And, um, and of course Brad filmed it, and you know, we ended up having it on Access TV. So it was a great program, like he did such a good job. Really, I can't thank you <laughs> no, enough for thank you. everything. <laughs> um, but this year, our contest is gonna start in September. Um, we have a lot of girls and guys that I believe will be amazing when it comes to this contest. Uh, I wanna have two different age divisions this year for the girls, and I also want to have a guy competition. Mm -hmm. um, so Brad, you're gonna be busy. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, like last year we tape it for access and it'll mm -hmm. air, and it's really fun for the kids to be on camera, and, and he follows us around everywhere, and. I'm we, telling we you, he, he's amazing. Yeah. He's, he is everywhere. I know. <laughs> Say well fair. Yes. Last year it was awesome because Tom Ortiz with the Worldwide Fighting <clears throat> Federation, he does cage fights here, he, um, he invited us to his fights and the girls were so excited to go, but little did they know Brad was going to be there and that we were going to actually be interviewing, having them interview people live at the fights, you know. It was another way for me to get a, a whole nother level of self-confidence out of these girls by getting mm. them on camera mm -hmm. and, and putting them in a face-to-face -face situation with a complete stranger. So, I mean, he just, he was there every step of the way last year and I can't wait to do it again this year. So, it's gonna be great. So, so it starts in September and it it's does. actually, the, the winner will be Top Model 2013. Yes, our current Top Model, mm -hmm. Val Romero, she is so amazing and she's done such a good job. And she'll work with all the girls that come in and each, you know, we'll have four different photo shoots again and we'll have three challenges that they'll have to do. Mm -hmm. And the winner will be crowned in December at our Angels of Christmas fashion show that we have every year, mm -hmm. um, which always benefits one special family in Tucson that we surprise and all the girls, you know, present their, the, this family with presents. So, um, so it's going to be awesome. This year's going to be a excited. little different though. Yeah. Last year we crammed in four photo shoots and I had to edit all this footage down into two hours. And this year, I want to actually turn each fashion show into an episode because there's so much good stuff that we just have to cut out of the end result, and it right. doesn't. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I want to make. I want to make it an episode per fashion show. So there'll be four show, shows. Then there'll be the final show, which will be the actual oh, fashion you mean show. Oh, four photo shoots. Yes, yes, the four awesome. photo shoots. So it'll be uh, a little bit bigger of a of a program this year. Wow, that, that sounds really exciting, Brad. Yeah. Um, let us know a little bit about your company as well while we yes. have you here. Uh, it's a personal reality video productions. What we do is uh, everything. But uh, <laughs> Literally. other than that, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we videotape everything we can. I mean, I put myself out there. I don't have a huge marketing bu budget like a lot of these companies here in town, but I, I'm out there more than any of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm at shows, I'm music, uh, war zone wrestling, uh, boxing, uh, Balaza models, uh, you name it, and uh, you know, basically we put our. I do weddings and stuff too, as well. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I always find time to do that and play bass and make movies and and edit and edit. <laughs> and yeah. he does logos too. I don't have to add that and flyers oh. because yeah. he, does a, he does. That a is lot true. For me. He like, did our our logo for absolutely. us for Duke and Cat, and it's so amazing. He's we love done it. I love mine. Yeah, yeah we well, love it. Well, thank you guys. You know, I appreciate yeah. you guys. You know, giving me the opportunity to work with y'all. You know, because oh it's, it's it's a lot of fun. So. Well, it, it is a lot of fun, and it's it's always wonderful to find really good people, you know, that you can really and work with. And good talent. With, good talent. Yeah. People you know you, that you know you can really rely on, and you know the quality of their work. Right. And I think with that we've been, hopefully, you know, I know we've been showcasing some of those those people today. So a personal reality video, and yeah. how can they find you? Uh, you can find me Brad Phipps on Facebook. Um, uh, just type in and Google uh, personal reality video productions or APR mm -hmm. video, usually I come up in there. Uh, you can find me on YouTube, uh, a personal reality vid. Uh, I also have a Tucson Music YouTube page that has over 600 bands, different music and stuff. Um, you can find me through Balaza. You can find me through Duke and Cat. I was going to say, all of our videos on YouTube um, are from Brad. So mm -hmm. if you've seen any of our Balaza videos, they are all done by Brad. All of our trailers for the top model competition 
for the reality shows, for everything. Brad does all of our work. So. But that's where you can find well, it. Well, you, you, know? you come highly recommended. Well, thank you. I, I try to please people, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> And uh, so the top model sounds like a pretty big project. Um, do you have any other? Uh, I know you have. I know you have other projects. <laughs> you that, don't have. A, you got a whole other show. right? That's the wrong question to ask. I keep them ask. pretty busy. Pat. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody keeps me busy. I keep me busy. <laughs> we kept you busy today. Thank you yeah. so much for jumping in and and uh, helping us out here. No problem. Here with the show. You no had problem. you had to wear two hats. And I also want to thank his wife, Therese, because mm -hmm. she puts up with me wanting his time and mm -hmm. I it is very much appreciated like it really is she's such a sweetheart and she helps she me so she is much. I think we should give her a big yes, hand yes we should Trees, we love you hey Trees. and the other person I just want to shout out real quick again is my daughter Ashley Verhalen mm -hmm. my daughter Stephanie Verhalen who's working right now or she'd be here and she's also co-owner of the company mm -hmm. and she was Miss Arizona um, and cool. um, Shay Wilson who and Ricardo Rodriguez, who are our two featured photographers for mm -hmm. Velaza. And like I said, without everybody helping along the way, I would have nothing, you know, um, to be able to give to my models. And everybody does it at such a great discounted price. So, mm -hmm. so our Facebook is Velaza Models, so you can find us. I'm Rhonda Moretti. And Kat, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And Brad, thank you for everything. No problem. Always. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, I definitely want to thank you for being here on the show, Brad, uh, and, and everyone. Uh, we have a few minutes left, uh, probably about five or so. And um, so I, I definitely want to say, Brad, a personal reality video. They can find you on Facebook. Do you want to see the video? I mean, the trailer from oh, 2012. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I, I brought we need to it. See I, the trailer from the Tom Model contest. Okay, from last trailer year, from you know Tom Model. I mean? That's year. right. How can we forget that? It'll so, give. Some, it'll give. Uh, we know. actually have 10 seconds, according to our I floor manager. Oh, oh. I am Angelica. Here it is. Then My name is Desiree yeah. Oliver. Hi, I'm Galilea Sanasar. My name is Katie Robinson. Okay. I'm Leslie. The next, so that's the next Tom Model. model. Seven young models compete for the title of Balaza Models Top Model 2012. Follow them on their journey. Only four photo shoots, four locations, four different photographers, and three industry judges are standing in their way. Who will be Balaza Models Top Model for 2012? We're back. We're well. back. <laughs> so that was just a little trailer of last year's Top Model Contest. Well, of course, it, it, Val Romero won that that whole thing in 2012. It was mm -hmm. awesome. So I hope everybody tunes in. I hope everybody comes to our fashion show in August on the 26th, and it'll probably be at DV8 again. So. Uh, well, as we're ending, I definitely want to again thank our sponsor for the for the show today, uh, New Looks wellness and spa which you can find them at newlookslaser.com definitely please uh, check them out they have some great summer specials you don't want to miss it uh, find Rhonda Balaza models on Facebook uh, we have uh, we have up on the on the screen there where you can you can find newlookslaser.com so make sure you do that we want to thank Brooke Alicia from so twisted designs yes. um, Allie Megan photography for coming in today. I definitely want to thank all the models. They did the such a great and job. Debbie Carrillo, who's Angel's mom, who helps with everything. Yeah, so let's give them a big, round, big of round of applause. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Uh, anything else, any last parting words that you want to leave people with? Building beautiful you know confidence. What? Yes, come build beautiful confidence, confidence with us because you don't have to be a model to look and feel, feel like, like one. one. <laughs> I, I love your slogan. It's really great. Uh, and it looks like we're uh, we're rolling out with our credits here today. <laughs> so, thanks again, fun. everybody. It's been a great show. Thank you, Kat. I'm gonna and go to you, uh, gonna go to Etsy.com <laughs> and check out some of those designs. I am too. Because I really I like the pink Brooke, dress. Yes. That pink dress was beautiful. Yes, it was. It I was. Can't. It was definitely for summertime. All right. Thanks again. Don't forget newlookslaser.com. Thank you for joining us here on Walk on the Wild Side with Cat. You can find find us on dukeandcat.com. 
And our director says we're done. Copyright 2012. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Duke and Cat. Great show. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hmm, <laughs> hmm.